I've eaten pad thai in Britain and Bangladesh, but I couldn't be more excited about tasting one in the country that created it. I'm going with a local called Ping to a place known as the Brass Wok, where pad thai is the only thing on the menu. It's run by husband and wife team Narong and Arisara. How long have you been making pad thai for? <laughs> 22 years. 22 years. What makes your pad thai so good? These guys serve up a couple of hundred pad thais every lunchtime. It's like the ultimate fast food. You've got oil and then noodles straight in. Cook it in there. Interesting. Into the wok, Narong's adding shrimp and tofu, then a couple of unexpected ingredients. Pickled turnip, I'm guessing that's salty, and something sweet. <laughs> An egg's cooked alongside and the dish is done. Here they serve their pad thai with bean sprouts, peanuts, spring onions and a banana flower. Wow. You made that so quickly and it looks beautiful. I love it with all the bits on the side. That is delicious. It's the most real pad thai I've ever had. Mm. It's much sweeter than I was expecting. Can I use your big wok to make you a pad thai? And then maybe, maybe cook it and give it to your workers as well, see what they think? You take the afternoon off? <laughs> <laughs> now I need some fresh ingredients for my pad thai which means a visit to Chantaburi's amazing market. Come on, come on. There's literally nothing we can't find here. There's so much. We need some bean sprouts. Yeah. Oh, here, over oh, here. Here? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, one kilo. OK, yeah. Bad, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. I find it impossible not to mess with a classic recipe, and I want to surprise Narong and Arisara. Something interesting in my pad thai. <laughs> something like shrimp? Squid, yeah. that's it. Yeah. I'm going to put some squid in it. Can I have half a kilo? Uh, I'll put it I'm feeling the pressure a little bit now. <laughs> You'll be fine. You'll be fine. <laughs> I hope so. Cooking for a pair of pad thai purists is pretty daunting. Oh, here comes trouble. 20 odd years of experience, and I'm making a pad thai on their wok. Oh, dear God. I'm gonna stick my onions and my shallots and my chilies. I'm going old school with my pad thai sauce, which means tamarind, fish sauce, and soy. And then I'm going to add, which is slightly unconventional, some turmeric. I wonder what they think of that. And some lime juice. Turmeric will deepen the flavour and lime will add a slightly sour note. Would you mind crushing up some cashews in there for me, please? I've got to find a way of distracting him now. Um, if you could just chop up some, just rip up some celery leaves for me. Thank you. Hurry up now while they're not watching. Right. Then I'm going to add my squid. The best thing about pad thai is it all happens so fast. Right, I've got my special pad thai noodles. If I can untangle them... I'm going to add my sauce. It's just tamarind paste, fish sauce and soy mixed together. Oh... No egg. I'm not putting egg. Oh. <laughs> As well as bean sprouts, in yet another breaking convention, I'm serving cashew nuts, chilli and celery leaves on the side. So if the history is slightly ropey, don't really know where it's from, which means, I think, it, to me, that means I've got creative licence to do whatever I like with it. But will the Brass Wok staff agree? On their menu, they've got had Thai made with shrimp, but mm -hmm. I've made mine with squid. How do they feel about that? Okay. Okay, my shrimp is better. Like you think shrimp yeah. is better. Did I see you add some sugar? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Sugar fiends! <laughs> Honestly, you've surprised me. This whole pad thai and sugar thing. <laughs> I'm shocked. It seems that the people in Thailand have a very sweet tooth. But they're also pretty frank. They're not scared to tell you when you're wrong. I've grown up in a family where I am used to being told how it is. So that, for me, was the easiest knockback I've ever had in my life. So from now on, I think I'll stick to squid and a pad thai. It's not putting the sugar in, though. I'm going to stick to my sugar and my sweets. <laughs>